Engines. Uh, this is our second lesson. It will be quite a big lesson uh, and not the easiest, I have to say. Uh, and what we're going to try to do is we're going to try and find out both solution for a, a trig equation. What does that mean? Do we actually have two solutions? Turns out there is. So uh, what's a trig equation? A trig equation could be something like that. So sine theta equal half. Okay, we've already dealt with stuff like that. We've done stuff like that in the assessment. Okay. Now, how will we find that? Okay. What uh, you will do is you say, okay, if sine the angle theta is half, then to find the angle, all we're going to do is sine minus one half. We put that into the calculator. Sine minus one. I'll shift. But really, in this case, we don't even need to do that because we need to remember that half it belongs to a, a special angle, isn't it? And that angle is thirty degrees. So we don't. Theory don't need the calculator if you remember that. Okay, and we can even draw that onto our Cartesian plane. Okay, if I draw this triangle here, okay, I've got that circle. Let's draw the circle. Okay, if this is thirty degrees, okay, I know that sine theta is the opposite divided by hypotenuse. The opposite is really your y coordinate. It's really important to understand these terms here. Your y coordinate. Okay. Divided by the radius, which is constant, changes, it's the same all the time. Okay, we've got the x coordinate, but in this case we're not interested in, so I should have a reason. So it's just y over r. Okay, sine theta is y over r. But let's just think about it for a second. Okay, is 30 the only solution? Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is, you know, if you put sine 30, okay, if you put sine 30, you're obviously going to get half. But now I want you to put sine 150. Okay, put sine 150 in your calculator and see what happens. Pause me, put that one. Come on, come on, do it. Okay, right, you got half as well. So it looks like there's two solutions. Okay, the first solution is 30. If I put 30 in, if I do sine 30, I'll get a half. But there's another solution. Okay, we'll call it theta 2. So theta 1 is 30. Theta 2, the second solution, is 150. And now let's try and understand why we're we actually getting two solutions. Okay? So what is 150? 150, if this is 30, okay, I'm actually moving the radius to here is 30. I'm moving it more or less as 90. 150 is going to be somewhere like this, isn't it? It's going to be something like that. So we're going to write that as 150. This is 150. From the x-axis to here. Now, if this is 150, what will be this angle? Correct, that will be 30. So, in other words, these two angles are the same. These two angles are the same, okay? And also, uh, the radius is the same, okay? So, we're going to have the same y coordinate. I take this little point, and I find out what the y here, those two y's are the same. We can... If we really want to, we can use uh, Euclidean geometry to prove congruency of these triangles, but we're not going to get to that, okay? But these two y's are the same, okay? So what is sine 150, okay? What did we define, what is the definition of sine? It's basically your, always your y coordinate divided by the r. And if those two y's are the same, then obviously that's going to be the same as sine 30. Okay, so we discovered that there's, at least in this case, there's two solutions for that equation, sine theta equal half. The, equation, the, the two solution is 30 and 150. And what can we find the relationship between them? They always add up to 180. That makes sense, doesn't it? So 30 and 150, they must add to 180. So the, the, or, or the recipe is, Okay, I'm going to write it down for you here, okay? Um, let's write it like that. Um, okay, now, now I, I will, I'll do the general thing later, but how do I know that the other answer is 150? How did I guess it correctly? What I did is 180 minus 30. That's how I guessed the right solution. I did 180 minus 30. So I found the first solution, then I did 180 minus that angle, okay? 
We're going to do one more example, and then I'll give you like the general rule. Okay, so let's move on to uh, another example. So let's say I have another equation. Sine theta equals 0 0.3. And I want to find what theta is. So the first thing you need to do, this is not a special angle. You just need to punch in your calculator. Sine theta or sine, sorry, minus 0 0.3. Or theta equals sine minus 0 0.3. You put that in your calculator. Let's see what we get. So shift sign, 0 0.3, close your brackets, 17.46, I get 17.46, and it carries on, it doesn't end, but I round to two decimal places, we will come back to that point, that is actually an important point. So your first angle, we call it theta 1, and that's your first angle, your first solution is 17 degrees, that's around here. But we already said that there must be a second solution. Okay? And because 0, 0,3, the ratio is positive, okay, that means, okay, what is sine theta? I'll write it down here. It's always your y coordinate divided by the radius. If sine theta is positive, that means y is positive. That means there's going to be another solution in a second coordinate. Okay? A second coordinate. Okay? And we already figure out how to find that solution. If this is your first solution, the second solution, okay, is going to divide the theta, is going to be 180 minus theta, isn't it? It's 180 minus theta. So the second solution is going to be 180 minus 7.46. So I'm going to do 180 minus 17.46. And voila, I get 162.54. 162.54. We all right with that? Okay, so it's very simple. First, you find your acute angle. And, and this is going to be the recipe I'll do with you again and again and again. You find your first solution, which is always an acute angle, smaller than 90. And then you use your knowledge of the quadrants to find a second solution. The second solution in this case must be 180 minus theta, okay? We will see that sometime you'll have to do something else. So I'm just going to pause here and set up the second example. Okay, now we're going to move on to our second example, is it the third, okay? And it's a very similar equation, sine theta equal, so instead of plus 0, 0,3, I'm going to look at minus 0, 0,3, okay? Now, until now, what you, you would do, okay, and you wouldn't, it won't be wrong of you, is to say, okay, I want to find out what theta is. So I'm going to say theta equals sine minus 1 of z minus 0, 0,3. Right? We're just doing the inverse sine, okay? So shift sine uh, minus 0, 0,3. What I get is, okay, now here, yeah, it's a good thing that you're going to do it because what you'll get is minus 17,46. What is a negative angle? Can angles be negative? Okay. Now it turns out they can. We can work with negative angles. And we will learn about that later. But for now, let's not go this way. Let's keep it positive. So what I'm going to tell you now to do is when you've got an equation like that, you only work with the positive value. So what do I mean? I know there's a negative sign here, but don't put it in there. It's going to confuse you. Not now. Maybe later on you can. Just use the positive value. And this is what we've done just before, isn't it? In the, the example before. So we already know what the, what the answer is going to be. The answer is going to be 17,46. Which is somewhere here. Okay, that's 17,46. That's just what we had before. But then you might ask, how is that possible? How can you get the same answer? It's a different equation. Well, the answer is this is really not, this is not the solution. But it's a step towards getting that solution. Okay? But that's the recipe I want you to do. Always work out the equation and just take the positive value. And then you think, okay, that is this angle. That's not necessarily the, the solution. It's the angle toward, that works towards the solution. Then you gotta ask yourself, okay, 
looking at this equation, where is or what coordinate is the angle at? Okay, remember that's when we learned last week about uh, the the, uh, the Cartesian plane. If we get a negative sign, sign or not negative sign, sign is a negative value. What is sign? Okay, we had it before. We know that sign is your y divided by a half. Okay. So here and here, in your first and your second coordinate, this is the first and the second coordinate, the y's are positive, so the sign will be positive. Where are they going to be negative? Exactly. In the third and the fourth coordinate. So I'm going to draw the same triangle. So now in the third and the fourth draw coordinate. Why are they going to be negative here, you, some of you might ask? Because over here, the y's are negative. We are below the x-axis, so these y's are negative. So the signs will be negative. Okay? So when I put in that equation, I didn't put minus 0 0.0.3, I put plus 0 0.3, I get 17,46. That means I got this angle, 17,46. I kind of rate that 0 point, minus 0 0.3, I turn it into a positive. I said, no, you are going to be positive. So obviously I got the wrong answer. I got an answer that will help me get the right answer. I got a wrong answer to help me get the right answer. Okay? So 0, comma, sorry, so 17, comma 4, 6. That is the angle I've got. But that's obviously wrong. The angle that I'm looking for, in fact, there's two of them, are either, either this one, this is one angle, because okay, that's negative, so that's going to give you a negative sign. And the other one is this one. Draw it with another color. Other angle is this one. So one, this is one angle, and the other one in black, and the other one is the red one. Again, I'm getting two solutions. So let's try and figure out how to do the second angle, or the first angle, the one in the black, this one, between that and that. Well, how would you go from here to here? How much do you need to add to 17,46 to get there? I think some of you can answer that. You just need to add, add 180 degrees. So your first solution okay, is going to be 17,46 plus 180. Okay? So we're going to add 17,46 plus 180. And I'm getting 197,46. 197,46. That's your first solution. The second solution, okay, how do I go from here to there? Well, if this is if this is 17,46, this is also going to be 17,46. Okay, can you see that? Because I can probably prove the congruent triangle, but we're not going to do that. So the second solution is going to be, we want to get the red one, it's going to be 360, the whole circle. Minus 17,46. Okay? And we will get, let's have a look, 360 minus 17,46. We're getting 342,54. 342,54. Okay. I'll pause here and then I'll summarize. Okay, guys, I'll summarize what we've done here. We realize, first of all, that for each trigonometric equation or won't say each, but almost all trigonometric equation, there are two solutions. And we also saw how to actually get them. So let's say I'll start with this one at the bottom. Sine theta equals 0, 0,3. I just use the calculator, I get the angle, 17,46. That's in this coordinate, over here, coordinate. Okay? But now, if sine is positive in this case, I will get another solution in the second coordinate. Okay? Because both y's are positive here, they're the same. That will be the second solution. And to get the second solution, I'll just need to do 180 minus 17,46. So to get the second solution, if this is the first solution, I just need to find 180 minus the first solution. Okay? That's for positive sign. If sign is negative, okay, then why I do something a bit weird, I find theta by doing sine minus 1, the positive value. So I ditch the minus, I ditch it. I get a wrong answer. I get the same one as before, 17,46. It's the wrong answer. I will use it to get the right answer. 
How do I get the right answer? Well, I know that both my solutions should be in the third and the fourth coordinates because the y's are negative there. That's why sine is going to be negative. So to get this solution over here, I'll just add 180. So that's why I wrote, that's why I wrote theta plus 180. Okay? Theta, 180 minus theta, theta plus 180. The second, that's the first solution. In this case, it was 197. The, the second solution is going to be that. And that's basically just 360 minus theta. 360 minus 17,46 in this case. In each case, I get two solutions. I don't get four solutions. Okay, there are two solutions for this equation and two solutions for that different equation. Are we all right with that? I'm going to get make another two videos for cosine and tan, but it really is the same thing, give or take. Okay? Take care, guys.